Okay, so I just ended part one by talking about step number three, which is actually the last step, but I'm gonna go further into it. Before I do that, I feel like we need another manifestation disclaimer. Manifestations are based on feelings, literally the sensations in your body. Manifestation or law of attraction will not respond to your thoughts. So this is when you start realizing that it doesn't really matter what you think, it just matters what you feel, which is why I'm telling you to only pick one low resistance thought that always brings you into a vibration of either happiness or peace. This thought is going to be different for every single person. I mean, consider the fact that if I'm in the Philippines, my thoughts are going to be in Tagalog. And if I'm in the States, my thoughts are probably going to be in English. So it doesn't really matter what words you're saying to yourself, it's just that they produce a feeling of happiness. So I tend to think I'm so glad I have hair on my head. I am so happy I have unconditional love from my parents. Obviously, these thoughts aren't going to produce the same feelings in everyone. And once again, it does not matter what the thought is. It just has to make you feel good. Now, remember how I said this was going to feel pointless. This only feels pointless because you've been taught that you need to focus on your manifestations for them to come to you. But this is exactly what not to do because the more you think about it, the more resistance you're creating to it because you're constantly looking for the perfect partner, the perfect job, the perfect marriage, and it's not there. So you're creating resistance to it. And resistance or non-belief is the killer of all manifestations. So by picking that one easy thought that makes you feel better is what Abraham Hicks means when she calls it um, going general. They tell us to stop being so specific. Just go general. Just think about one nice thing you like. Oh my gosh, my sheets are so cozy. Um, oh my God, the sun is shining. It doesn't matter what you're thinking as long as it brings your vibration back up. Again, seemingly unrelated because you're not thinking about the thing that you want, but all you have to do is have the feeling because as long as you're thinking about it and creating resistance, law of attraction can't understand what to bring in. Actually, it does understand. It's going to keep bringing in all the negative stuff because if that's what you're feeling by thinking about the thing that you want and not having it, then it'll just give you more of not that. It only knows how to attract like with like. So you want to feel happy in a relationship? Feel happy single first. You want to be rich to be happy? Be happy poor. You want to feel positive? Be happy being negative. It literally is, as Alan Watts calls it, the backwards law. It's like you can't get there from here. You have to be okay here to get there. So the weirdest thing to the ego is that, oh, I have to forget everything that I want in order to get it. And the answer is yes. Imagine being so whole, so complete, and so happy that you don't even need the thing anymore. And that is when it just comes gushing in. It'll come rushing in, it'll surprise you, it'll be amazing, but you will not have even needed it. That's how you attract.